I wonder if I could move her a little closer. Oh. A little better? Hopefully. And a silver pencil garland. That way, garbage. skinny ones and they did have like fluffy ones but sometimes I don't get a fluffy um garland because then you gotta put it with thumbtacks or whatever on the wall or maybe not tape so I think it's better the skinny one. Okay. Cut it I'm gonna sit down and relax my feet. This is the lazy way. Do it over here so you can see. I start to like um, recording different angles of um, my room because I used to always. You know, since um, 2018, 19, I think it was 2019, um, when the pandemic started, I, when I recorded, it would be, I think it was just this way of the wall where my two Marilyn, Marilyn Monroe posters are, or where the Japanese uh, stickers are on the wall. I would just go back and forth to, to those little walls <laughs> so happy that uh you know because i used to decorate over here you know in, in this wall that wall you know like almost every wall and um have to use the section you know like i i just don't mind you know I, i'm i'm starting to like uh recording different um areas of my room Oh, you see, it's, it's not that big, but I, um, I'm not even concentrating when I'm talking. It's not that big, but I'm, I love my bedroom, you know, like, when I moved here in 2005, because <laughs> we moved so much, um, we, we had our childhood home. In Brooklyn, in Sunset Park kind of area, um, I had that since I was a little girl, till I was 18 years old, and we had to move out. Landlord gave us like um, I don't know, it was like two days. I don't know, it was like 20 or 27 hour. I don't know. It was like two days or three days, something like that. I don't know. Um, she gave us a little bit of time, and we had to, uh, yeah, try to pack our stuff and move out of our childhood home. Well, I call it childhood home because we had another childhood home, but um, I don't. I remember a tiny bit, and we didn't stay that long. I think I don't know. I don't know much about that. And then. Um, I don't know why I'm getting emotional. Um, I never talked about him, and um, but I know um, my uncle Lewis. 
um, must miss his best friend, Michael. His best friend. He was like a dad, a brother, uncle to him. Cause his father wasn't that great. My grandpa, Mario, um, got rest his soul too. So both of them are heaven too. But um, I don't know why I'm getting emotional. Um, but um, he did so much great stuff for us. Not only for my Lewis, um, he tried being like, I don't know, I felt like he was like a dad or uncle to us, and he was just my uncle's friend, and, um, what was I saying, um, I'm uh, ruining the tinsel, it's kind of delicate, like the paper, the tissue paper, so, um, my uncle Lewis and his best friend Michael, um, they were so nice. They rented a moving van, and they made sure they moved our st all our stuff. I don't know if it was one day or two, you know, like I don't remember that. But um, they end up taking everything and bringing it to. Uh, we live first in North Wildwood. Then it was Wildwood, New Jersey. Then it was North Wildwood, New Jersey. Then it was Wildwood Crest. And then we were tired. Uh, every year we had to always move from, you know, New Jersey, uh, dealing with the floods. It was just crazy. I didn't think I was going to talk about this. You know, I would talk about other stuff. Uh, what I went through, but, um, so after I, um, we moved from, um, all those parts of New Jersey, you know, after Wild we Cross, we ended up, um, my brother Jose said, why don't you go move to Orlando, Florida? I thought it was going to be a great idea because of all those rides, you know, but I wasn't thinking, you know, like, you can't go into the rides if you don't have money. <laughs> so, um, we went through, uh, hunger. We spent it like a week or something, something like that, a week and a few days. I was just depressed because we were sleeping on the floor, we didn't have food. Uh, my mom tried to, you know, like get um, work or medic, you know, welfare. They didn't even want to help us or get food stamps or something. I was miserable at all. I ended up, I was so desperate. I said, my first choice is end it or Go rob in the store. I went shoplifting. Um, could have been Walmart. I don't know what store it was. I can't remember. Um, they caught me, but um, I didn't go to jail. I just got um, a warrant or something like that. I don't know if there's a warrant, but um, I don't know if my mom found out about that, if, if the cops um, called her or what, uh, same day she decides, all right, we're going to move back to Brooklyn. She ended up going over there. Um, I found out my sister was somewhere in New Jersey, um, with her boyfriend, um, Joey, and I said, I let her know, can I go over there and stay with you for a while? Um, I don't think you guys remember this. It was, um, a lot of times it just, wasn't that great. You know, like, um, I thought she was going to send me money if I could go meet her, you know, somehow, uh, meet her at New Jersey, but uh, every time I went to the cashier and stuff, and that, I was in Elizabeth, New Jersey, 
I was stuck over there. I was scared. I, I, I didn't have anyone like to pick me up. And um, I don't know if I called my mom or what, um, or Naomi or somebody. Um, it could have been my aunt Naomi, but I don't know. And I, I'm talking a lot. I know. Sorry, I'm trying to decorate and all this. Um, so somebody said, oh, try to take the train. And um, I did find the train station. And I went in it and tried to find somebody to help me. I could have been going back and forth a little. Then I finally found how to get to Bro Brooklyn. And I think I ended up going... I stayed with my aunt and my grandma, you know, for a little while. But I don't know if after that I went to, to be with my sister for a while in New Jersey. Yeah, I think I... I don't know why I even remember. I was happy... Uh, when you're sick, and um, my depression, and my bipolar, and, and I, um, you know, just to um, feel numb, might or not help much, but that's what I did, and um, my sister wasn't, you know, it was, she was young, and she didn't know how to deal with it. I could understand that, and I forgive you. I love you, sister, because now you, you, you're there for us. If I go through something, or my son, she's there for us. I get so pissed off. I get pissed off at my Aunt Carmen. And my aunt Naomi, I love you Naomi, but they tried making sure me and my sister weren't going to be together. I had to always, every holiday, I had to be with my sister a, a certain day for Thanksgiving or Christmas, and then a different day with my grandma. And like, I'm so fed up that I have to make my grandma happy. Now I don't have to. I don't have to choose a them. I just shoot my sister because I love her. She would die for us. She's always there for us. For any occasion, bad or good. I don't see them in my life that much. I don't even know if I should continue. I'm just gonna do a little side and um, let's see what, I don't know. And then I need to shoot, hold on. My life hasn't been that great. I mean, my childhood was the best. I'm not going to complain about that. But my teenage life to my 20s, it hasn't been that great. It has been horrible. I didn't meet Gabrielle. Yeah. My life would have been different. I wouldn't be here. Um, that's for sure. Because, uh, yeah. Having Joelle, it's been a miracle, a blessing. Try to finish this.
shoot. Oh. Oh. Great. See you later. Boogie all over. Sorry about that. Like I said, my, um, life hasn't been half, not that great, but when I had you all, I knew, um, I was going to try not to repeat of, um, most of my father, not my mom, my father. So, uh, wrong but a little like that for now sticking out a little i have to put the tape up already wasted a lot of minutes i'm gonna do one last video try to decorate and i'm not gonna cry anymore i i didn't think i was gonna be crying so much and um feeling so affected about stuff and it's because you know like um and half of that stuff, I don't even put in my journal. I, I've been writing, writing before I had Joelle. And in my 20s, that's when I started, when uh, I moved back with my mom. I think I was 24, 25. And that was in the 90s. Uh, when I finally moved with my mom. And what was I gonna say? Yeah, it's the time around where and I would write my journals or notebooks, and um, then I had Joel. I wrote everything about him, you know, eating or the foods and the weight and stuff like that. So I'll do the other one whenever. I'm just gonna.